So here I took this section of this screen and then divided into various sections and then I have shown the related widgets. Remember row and column and container they are all widgets okay. Now over here this boxed area is represented by this one okay the outer layer and the outer layer would be our column widget. Now why? As I said earlier, when we put things on the top of each other, we call or use column widget for that purpose. Now here, internally, you see inside this column widget, this one, over here we have this big box and this little box. These two are on the top of each other. Now to put this two together on the top of each other, we used column widget because when you use column widget, you can put things on the top of each other the way we did over here as you can see. So that's why the big one over here, it be represented by column widget and then we have divided this one and this one into two different sections which are represented by this box and this box. So hopefully it makes sense that why we are using column widget and why the layout is like this. All right, now moving into further over here, if we take this section of the screen, we also see that we have, um, so now this section of the screen actually could also be inside a row widget. So that's why we have this row widget over here. Now do see that actually we have two row widgets inside this column widget. That's what we have said early that if you have widgets you can nest them into each other and that's what we have done over here. First the columns this one we have divided into two and each of them are represented by row. Now of course this totally depends on your UI layout how you think. It's not the exact form that you have to follow. Anyway, so the big one we have divided into these two sections and each of the sections are represented by this row widget, okay? Now why we did row widget for this one? The reason is because this section of the screen actually we can also divide into two sections like this one over here and be this one over here. So that's what we did. So this is a row widget and then inside this we have this section which is represented by this area and this section which would be over here this area. So we are putting two things horizontally next to each other. So that's why the outer layer or the outer widget has to be a row widget. Hopefully it makes sense, right? Now the same for this one. Now this is a row widget which is represented over here. Now why this is a row widget? The reason is because over here actually you see we have this um, icon and search and we actually also have an empty space. Empty space could be also a widget. So this two over here are next to each other. So that's why the outer layer has to be a row widget. So that's what we did. The outer layer is row widget and then we'll have over here the search icon and search and over here we'll have this uh, empty area as you can see. So that's how the whole layout works, okay? Now inside this row widget we also see this one over here and we tagged it or named it as a column widget. The reason is once again we want to put this two on the top of each other. So that's why the outer layer for this two has to be a column widget. So over here it would be good morning and over here this would be book tickets like this, okay? And so that's how the whole things work. So when you design a UI, first you need to look at the UI and you need to think how you are going to put them and which kind of widgets should you be using for representation. Once again, this is not hard and fast rules to work like this. There are other ways to do that as well. So you can just practice different ways of doing your layout. Okay, so from now on, we'll be using this kind of picture a lot to understand how things work. And then we'll eventually start coding now.